Today's demo is going to be creating a Santa sack out of a $1.50 sandbag from the hardware store. The two featured stencils this round are reindeer feed from our newer collection for this Christmas, as well as grain sack stripe number G4L. Santa sacks are any kind of pre-made bag that you can wrap presents in easily. So for example, you don't have to buy a particular Santa sack. You can use a pillowcase, or in this case, a sandbag. The first thing you'll want to do is put something waterproof inside your bag of choice. This is so it doesn't bleed through to your tabletop or to the other side of the bag. Just make sure it doesn't have any joins because the paint will show that. I've chosen a slightly wider brush this round so I can do long, even strokes over the grain sack stripe. If you find your stripes are moving a little bit too much in the middle, you might want to just scoot your hand closer to where you're painting, just kind of hold them in place a bit. Using the handy little registration marks, I've positioned reindeer feed in the middle of the Santa sack, but I have moved it down a bit so I leave room to tie the Santa sack together along the top. I suggest stocking various brushes because they all offer different effects. So for this particular stencil, I'm looking at wanting something a little bit smaller with a rounded tip for the letters, and then I'm probably going to use this one for the deer. And how do we know really what brush works on what surface? You know, that really comes from experience. There are no cheats on this one. It's a matter of stocking a few things, trying it, and if it doesn't work, try something else. And should you stock any paint that's slightly drying out, don't throw it out. Use it for stenciling. It's perfect for that. 